Hey everyone, today I have a haul from the downtown San Diego Goodwill Outlet. It is like a rather big haul because I was able to go a few times during my spring break. So I would say I think this is like three like smaller trips to the bins. And I went to the downtown outlet and where it's $2 a piece or they do have a little deal where if you get 15 items, it's $27 as opposed to $30. Um, but I basically just put everything as $2 a piece. Um, and yeah, if you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller. And so I'll be listing everything on Poshmark and eBay. And then a few things I'll also cross post over to Curtsy as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I picked up is this dress that has cute feathers at the top. It's like a nice satin material. It's new with tags, um, but it was just sold at Marshalls. The brand is called 33. Um, at Marshalls, it was on clearance for $12, um, but I decided to pick it up for $2 because I think it'll sell well on Curtsy because uh, the demographic is like that younger, like college or like high school aged girl. And so I think this is like a perfect style for like a sorority party or something. Um, I'm not expecting too much, probably just maybe like 20 to 25 maybe is hopeful, maybe even like 18, um, but I'll look at comps and see if there's any others listed. And then next, I think this is one of my favorite pieces I found, like style-wise. They're just a pair of Levi's jeans, Levi's 501s, and um, they are the premium denim line, but they have this really cool like Western embroidery on them. And there's just like this one spot where like the embroidery is coming unraveled. But other than that, they're in really great condition. And like the hems are good. There's not like any wear. So I look, I did look at comps. Like I looked them up briefly for the most part when I'm at the bins. I don't really look up each item. Maybe I'll just look up the brand if I'm unsure about comps. But I wanted to see if like someone did this themselves or if this was they actually sold them like this and they did sell them like this and they were sold on like Urban Outfitters and I think a few other websites but like comps weren't as high as maybe I thought they might be like I think they were just in like maybe like the high 30s so I think I'm gonna try them on and I might wear them like a few times and then list them but yeah I really like the style of these I thought they were really cool so I was happy with that find and next up this is a dress from Free People. It's a size extra large and it's like this velvet material and it's like a cute mini dress with pockets. Um, all this stuff needs to be washed so like it has some fuzz on it but it other than that it's in like really good condition. So again with Free People it really depends on if there's others listed or not, like how much you'll be able to get for it. But I think that's a pretty like substantial piece, like dresses tend to do pretty well. So I'm thinking honestly, pretty wide range of comps, but maybe like somewhere between like 25 and like 45, but yeah, to be determined. Uh, next, these are just some sweatpants from Aerie. They're just like this pretty basic, um, color but I think I'm actually gonna keep these for myself but if not I still think airy sweatpants do pretty decent it's the offline um like brand of airy so yeah if I was to sell these myself I don't know maybe like 12 to 18 dollars but I'm gonna try them on first and I think I'm gonna keep them and next this is a I think this yeah new with tags dress it's just from forever 21 and forever 21 only sold it for 30 dollars um but it's this like satin cowl neck midi length dress with a slit down it so i thought it it was a good style even though it's just forever 21 and it is like under a pound so shipping won't be ex as expensive as if it was over a pound because i feel like when something's just forever 21 buyers really don't want to pay that much for it and especially not they don't want to pay a lot on shipping so i like tried to only pick up like fast fashion stuff if it's under a pound so it's like cheaper for the buyers to buy it um but speaking of that at the san diego bids i've come across a lot of really cute target styles but it's just target so i've never picked it up really 
um, but I found this dress and it's Knox, Knox Rose and it's a size extra large and it's this really cute, uh, I think it's like a midi length, maybe maxi depending on your height. But the straps are adjustable, like they have a button in them so you could adjust the length, which is really great. It has smocking in the back and it's just this really fun mixed print dress. I thought it was like really boho and it reminded me of like a print that Spell would do. And so I just wanted to give it a shot and see how it does. So not expecting a lot, maybe like $15 for that, but I'd be content with two and a 15. I'm just hoping it's like a fast sale. And depending on how that does, maybe we'll determine on if I pick up more Target in the future. So yeah, I'm excited to see how that does because I feel like it's also the perfect season for that. But yeah, moving on. Next, this is like a jacket and it's from the brand Quicksilver, which is typically like if I do find Quicksilver, like I feel like I just pick it up with the intention of taking it to like Buffalo Exchange. But I thought this was like a really nice piece. It's this like heavy duty, like quarter zip jacket with a hood. And um, I feel like jackets like this normally retail for like over $50. There was, I think like some spot or something, but like when I like, like scratch at it, it seemed to come off. So it just needs like a good wash. But I think I'm gonna try selling this myself and then if I don't have any luck, I know this is definitely a style that um, Buffalo Exchange would like to buy. So yeah, next, this is another Forever 21 item. It's not new with tags, but it is a 2X. It's this faux leather snap mini skirt. Um, again, I just picked it up based on style. I'm hoping for like a fast flip with this. Um, so yeah, next. Uh, this is a dress from ASOS. It is like the older ASOS tag. They don't, like, I don't know how old it is, but it's not the current tag. Um, it's a size two, but it's this really nice dress with these kind of like rope straps. It has a mesh overlay with all this embroidery on it. It's like pretty similar to like one of the dresses Taylor Swift wore at like the Grammys or something. So I have a feeling maybe someone bought this to like wear to her era's tour. It also has like bees on it, which I think is really cute. I know some people like really like bees. So yeah, I think it was definitely worth $2 um, cause of all the embroidery. It all appeared to be in like pretty good condition. Obviously like a few loose threads here and there, but you know, I think maybe like 22 to 25. But I'll look at comps and see, like, maybe it might be going for more or maybe less. Who knows? But I was excited about that find. And next up, this is a jumpsuit with tie straps. Um, I think it might be more of a cropped length, but not sure. Um, it's from Aerie, and it's a size medium. Um, yeah, I think Aerie clothing does pretty well. So, um, like sells pretty fast, like it doesn't sell for a lot, maybe like between 18 to 22 for that, but that's definitely a style um, that I'll list on Curtsy as well. Same with like the ASOS dress, and obviously I love selling free people on Curtsy, so I'm hoping, um, I like selling on Curtsy just because like the fees are less there, and the buyer gets like tiered shipping, so shipping is cheaper for them. So yeah, I like selling on Curtsy, so I prefer selling like younger brands over like more like mature brands, even though they you could, they basically, re re the resale value is around the same sometimes. I just prefer selling like brands like this, brands like O'Neal. Um, this one is just a strapless jumpsuit. Um, just a nice stripe print. Again, maybe between like 16 to 19 somewhere in the teens for this um but these kind of like surf skater brands do pretty well again on curtsy but also poshmark even though like the shipping might be more expensive compared to curtsy i found like it gets a lot of likes in my closet um this next thing i didn't really look up maybe i should have but i think i'll be able to sell it no problem it's this life is good 
t-shirt just a t-shirt but it is a women's 3x and i know life is good it has like a pretty good following and the graphic on here is like really good no cracking or anything so i don't know i'll have to look at comps but i don't know even like ten dollars hopefully it'll sell fast but i'd be fine with that because the bins is basically like the only place i go thrifting now here in san diego and i really can only go like once or twice a week um because like i work during their hours so um yeah i just you know i'll take what i can get so i'm fine with like you know two dollars into like fifteen dollars um next is another target piece this is wild fable and i know i said i'm gonna try not to get stuff that's over pounds just because i don't think it's that worth it for the buyer because they have to pay for shipping but these are some jeans and they have this like um butterfly embellishment on them and they're um i think the tag said like a boot cut um fit so like a pretty nice you know um it's i think it's like a y2k style because i think the tag also said low low waist on it yeah low rise of boot cut so i think it'll do like pretty well because that's like pretty in right now it's a size 16 so um yeah and this is actually one of the few pieces that was actually at a goodwill store and they were trying to sell it for $9.99 for Target jeans, but it didn't sell, so I ended up at the bins. Um, yeah, next, this is a dress, a midi dress from Zara. It has this cute cutout in the front, and yeah, midi length. Um, I'll have to look up this style. If it's like, you know, one of the blogger favorites, it can, you know, go for like over $60. Um, but if it's like not a blogger favorite, um, probably like just somewhere in the teens, maybe low twenties as well. And then next, this is like a seersucker material. It's Urban Outfitters and it's, I think it's like a mini dress that has like these short sleeves and it is like really short, but I'm pretty sure it's like a mini dress. It's not just a top, but yeah, it is very short, um, but Urban Outfitters, again, just really great on curtsy, probably in like the high teens, maybe low 20s for that. And then this is more of a fall piece, but I still picked it up. It's made by Anthropology. It's this like corduroy, kind of like peplum-ish top, um, but it is like the made by Anthropology. It doesn't just say made. So, yeah, I think, you know, slightly a newer style. So, I think I should be able to get around 18 for that. And then, next, this is a Free People top, size large. It has lace on it, and the lace appears to be in good condition. Some, like, smocking, I guess. I'm thinking, again, I'll have to look at comps, but this seems like a nice style. It's more substantial than just, like, a tank top. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get maybe in the high 20s for it, but I'll see if any others are listed and specifically listed in that size. And then I think this was my favorite find. It is this super cute like maxi dress with this fun print, some like little ruffles on the skirt. And it's from House of Harlow which, you know, sold on Revolve. It's Nicole Richie's brand. It is very expensive. And yeah, I love the print. It's, you know, a maxi dress, perfect for the summer. So I, I'll have to look at comps because I think the style really matters. But if it's like a really desirable style, you know, potentially over $100. Um, if not, maybe I'm hoping between like 80 to 100 for it. So yeah, I'm fingers crossed that it's not too saturated on Poshmark. I typically when I'm at the bins, I don't like I said, I don't look up every single style because I know like if I'm only paying two dollars, I'll be able to profit on it. And if I'm not able to profit on it, I can still like make a like if I'm not, if I'm not able to profit on it, like it's not worth it to list it on Poshmark. I can still take it to a buy sell trade store and make a slight profit over there even if it's just a few dollars like I'm confident I won't lose money on these things and if I'm iffy like I'm unfamiliar then I'll look it up but yeah next 
This is something I looked up. They're like these swim trunks striped and they're from the brand Southern Tide, which I've never sold before, but on eBay, it seemed like they were listed in like the $30 range and they were selling, I think like in like the 20s or something. So even if I'm able to get in like the teens for them, I'd be content. And you know, I'm sure people are looking for swimwear now. So perfect timing. And next, this is a brand I don't think I've ever picked up before. I normally pass on it. It's Sanctuary, but this is, this blouse is 100% linen. So I decided to give it a shot and see how it does. And then again, if it's not getting much, much attention, I could take it to my consignment store and, you know, trade up for it. Let's see, next. This is a blouse from Maud Cloth. It's not like one of their like more unique styles. It's kind of, it's just like a blouse, but yeah, I still thought it was cute. So I picked it up. And then I typically don't buy like a ton of stuff to take to Buffalo Exchange or consignment stores, just cause $2 is on the higher end of what I'd wanna pay if I'm like flipping stuff um, at like Buffalo Exchange. But sometimes I like just can't resist. And you know, something's in good condition and like, you know, no one else is picking it up. I don't want it to go to landfill. So I, if I know I'm gonna make a profit on it, I'll just throw it in. This is one of those things. It's just a Vans t-shirt. And, um, but the graphic was like in excellent condition and like the shirt itself itself is like very black. It's not faded at all. So it just like, I'll just wash it. It does have some lint on it, but yeah, it's in great condition. They love graphic tees and like short sleeve button downs for summer. And I was planning a trip like within the next week to take them stuff. So I figured I wouldn't be hanging on to it for very long. But typically I try and get, I try and like, if I'm buying stuff at the bins to take to Buffalo Exchange, I try to get more substantial pieces that they price higher, like dresses or jumpsuits or like jeans even, rather than like, um, just like a t-shirt or tank top. So like, this is one of those pieces. It's just Target, it's their Take Pride line, but it is this fun printed jumpsuit. And it was a size 2X. And they tend to be kind of in need of larger sizes. So I think hopefully they'll be more inclined to buy that from me. Let's see next. Oh, this was another mod cloth piece, but it's not like one of their like, you know, fun pieces. It's just a black wrap dress, but it's still a nice style. So for $2, I think, you know, maybe, I don't know, I'll have to look it up, but if it was like a fun style, I would say like definitely over 30, but I don't know, maybe just in the low 20s for that. And then we have this rain jacket from Columbia and it's a women's 2X and it's in like really great condition. Like the lining was great and there's no stains or anything. There's like some fuzz in the Velcro, but that's about it. So um, I've never, I don't typically sell too much Columbia. So I don't know, but I do know Buffalo Exchange prices it up pretty high. Like mine prices up like any outdoor brand pretty high. So um, that's always an option, but I think I'll list that myself because it's, it, you know, it's a jacket. If it was like some like hiking pants or something, I might take them to Buffalo Exchange. But I think, I mean, I would like to say like over 20, but um, to be determined. This next piece is new with tags from Urban Outfitters. It, um, it's just this little cute mini dress. Um, I'm thinking probably in like the low 20s for this. It's pretty basic. So yeah, I think just low 20s. I've been pricing stuff like since I basically have only been sourcing at the bins, I've been pricing my stuff a little bit lower so that way hopefully it, you know, sells faster and I'm not too worried about making the biggest profit I can since I'm only paying like $2 for everything as opposed to when I would go to actual thrift stores and my cost of goods would be significantly higher. So yeah, it's been working out pretty well for me. Uh, next, these are some Madewell shorts, size 12. Short season is coming up, so I think those will be a fast seller. And then next, oh, this is a expensive find. This is a Zadig and Voltaire blouse. 
which like the retail is probably what over like $300 for this top definitely not expecting anywhere close to that but because it's also it's I think it's just like polyester it's not silk or anything so um yeah it's just I can't really read the yeah 100% polyester so I don't know how much but I'd be happy with over 40 for that because that'd still be a really good profit next these are some new with tags Nike kids baseball pants the price tag on there says $40 so uh, I mean I'm just hoping to get like maybe in the low 20s for them they're like a nice gray color and yeah kids tend to outgrow their stuff pretty fast so I know like probably have to buy new pants like every well every year for sure for the new season so and, you know they get dirty so it's good to have multiple pairs so I'm hoping you know that'll you know be a desirable piece um next this is a nasty gal satin cow neck midi dress um again a good piece for curtsy and I'm hoping you know low 20s or even high teens I'd be content with um this is another Urban Outfitters piece it's this mini dress it's a size large it has like tiered ruffles on it and um yeah I think it's a cute style I'm hoping for like low 20s for that I think and then we have some Bowden pants um I could tell they're an older style but um they're a size 14 just these red dress pants there is some fading kind of around the waistband but I still thought it'd be worth it to pick them up and um hopefully I can get in the 20s for them and then I really liked this piece it um it's from laundry by Shelly Seagal which I don't really have much experience selling but I thought this was a really pretty dress it's like a formal dress it has this cutout with pearls and rhinestones and beads and then it's just like you know maxi length I it was in really good condition the only thing was the um this strap someone had like taken it in so like they but they just like sewed it themselves and so I was able to like cut out the stitching and there are like you can't tell from the outside basically at all on like the lining you there's like some little mini holes but other than that you know in great condition someone probably only wore it once and then donated it so um comps seem to be like not as high as maybe I would think but that's just because I've never really sold the brand before but again I'd be happy with over 30 would be great because comps didn't look too good but I'll probably list it at like in the 40 or $50 range and then obviously I'm open to offers. So we'll see how that does. Next, this is a velvet midi dress from Lulu's. It has like a cowl neck as well. Just a bodycon dress. It's more of a simple style. So probably just in the low 20s for that. If it's like more of like a formal dress, they definitely could sell for a lot more. I mean, not like a ton because Lulu's is, doesn't have a super high retail, but um, that's typically like the kind of dresses I like selling from Lulu's are the formal ones, but I'll, I'd be happy with a dress like that. Next, these are some new Tags Old Navy pants. They are, I think they're just a linen blend. I don't think they're 100% linen. Yeah, 55% linen. New with Tags, like paper bag. Like, I think it's like a, maybe like tapered or straight leg. I know linen is popular during the summer, so I thought it would be worth it to pick those up. Maybe, honestly, probably just like 15 to 18 for those. And then this, I'm not so sure about because it is a Desigual. I, this is like the questionable thing is like I liked it because it was like embroidered and I know the embroidered stuff does pretty well but it's at first when I picked it up I thought it was like a tunic um because it has like pockets but it on the tag it says size large but this does not look like a women's large 
So I think it's like a kid's dress. Um, because it does not look like a size large like tunic top. Um, like it is flowy, but like from like pit to pit, I feel like it's kind of small to be a large. So, um, I don't know, like to be determined, I might just take it to the consignment store because if I'm like, I'll look up to see if I could find any of the exact ones and see what they're being listed as. Um, but I might just like be on the safe side and just take it to a consignment store because I'd still be able to like profit over there. But we'll see. Next, this is a torrid top size three. It's just a tank, but it does have embroidery, which is really nice, and like a Swiss dot texture to the fabric. Probably just, you know, $18 for this, but Torrid's been selling really fast for me, like the other pieces I've gotten from the bins. So I'm hoping that <laughs> goes for that tank as well. This is a bandana I got for my dog because she wears bandanas every day. And she basically has like every single solid color of bandana. So anytime I find a fun like print, I always get it for her. And at the bins for like bandanas, they charge me a dollar for them. So a dollar for that. And then next, these are some Abercrombie shorts. They're a men's short. They're called the 90s Relax Short. And it seems like this is like a current or at least newer you know, style at Abercrombie. I've never sold men's, but we'll see how it does. It seems, like I said, it seems to be like a good chino short style. So I would hope to get like over 20 for those, but um, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, next, these are some jeans from One Teaspoon, which if I would have found these like, I don't know, five years ago, I would have been maybe like, I don't know, even five to 10 years ago, probably would have been pretty excited. Um, they're the awesome baggies. I was unsure how comps would be, but I was like pleasantly surprised they were still selling for like some of the awesome baggy styles were still selling like in the $40 or higher range. So I decided to pick them up because it definitely seems like I can get like at least definitely like over 30 for them. They're like a distressed um, fit. And these ones, like on the back, it says like low waist, relaxed leg. So I think also because of like the low waist, some people might be looking for that. So we'll see. I, I know it's not necessarily jean season, but I do know it's still pretty cold in some parts of the U.S. So hopefully it gets some attention. I think I'll also list that on curtsy maybe because of like the style hopefully will do well. But yeah, next, this is a torrid dress, size two. It's a ribbed material and there is some pilling and wash wear on it, but I still thought it was worth it to pick it up. You know, I'll just list it for cheaper because I think this is like the perfect season for a dress like this because it is like that ribbed knit material. So if it's not like, you know, you probably wouldn't wear this in like super hot weather, but if it's still like a little breezy or something, I thought it would be a good piece and it also has pockets so who doesn't love pockets and then next these are some jeans from Madewell they're just like this white like or like cream pant and they like there was no style name I know the jeans normally have a style name but I think these are technically like they consider them pants and not jeans that's why they don't have like the style name on them um but I think that um, since they are a slightly larger size, they're a 16, that um, hopefully they'll do well. I'm thinking, I know like the resale value of the jeans has gone down, but I think definitely over 25, probably in like the $30 range for those. And then this is a Lululemon men's long sleeve top. Got the logo right here. And I would probably say in like the high 20s for this, it's a size large. The, um, the size is on like the inside hem right there of like the seamless pieces. And then yet another Free People item. This is from the Free People Beach line and it is a wrap dress. It has a halter neck with some pockets in the front and then it's like a true 
wrap style dress. So yeah. And then getting down to the bottom, these are some Columbia pants, size large, fit for the outdoors. They have like this cuff at the ankle. They're just like a really nice pant. So I know Columbia is not like the most desirable outdoors brand. So even though like the retail value might be a little pricey, probably just like, I'll probably list them in like the low twenties and expect either in the low twenties or high teens even. And then these are some 511 tactical pants. They're, they have like cargo pockets. Nice. They're in like pretty good condition. They're all like gently worn, but like no stains or any serious flaws or anything. And I've sold the pants before and they did so, you know, pretty quickly. So I think if I list them low enough, they, sh you know, should be the same case. Maybe, I don't know, low 20s or something. Probably list them like mid 20s. And then next, these are some leggings. The front is pretty basic. Um, they're, they have this detailing going on in the back though. And if you could see, they're from the brand Buff Bunny. I can kind of tell they're a bit of an older style, like not a current style that's currently like on the website or anything, but they definitely do have a following. So I'm thinking, you know, still definitely, I think in the $20 range for them, uh, probably maybe list them, I don't know, maybe like 29 or something and expect like 25 to 29. And then these are some new with tags faux leather pants from Fashion Nova. They're a size 2X and yeah, I love selling Fashion Nova. It's been doing like really well for me. I won't pick up like basic tops or anything, but any like more unique dresses or pants have all been like getting a lot of attention on both Curtsy and Poshmark for me and you know, selling pretty quickly. So I think, you know, those will do pretty well. And then I also found another pair of new with tags fashion nova pants these are jeans though they're a size 15 which is junior sizing so i'll have to like convert it um look at their size chart and see like what women's size you know fashion nova considers it but it has like this like acid wash with like purple you know detailing on it and i feel like no one else at the bins likes picking up fashion nova which is fine so i'll gladly pick it up i tend to find a lot of it at the bins and then next this was something i again i got to take to buffalo exchange because it was in such good condition i couldn't pick it up it's a volcom button down and it's again a 2x and like i said they tend to like larger sizes for both men and women this is you know men's and you know men's plus size is the best because they tend to always my location anyway tends to always be in need of men's so they're way less picky with it than women's stuff. And then this is a maxi skirt from Talbot's, which I typically don't pick up, but I thought like the print was really cool. It's like a jersey material, which sometimes can get pilling, but this is in great condition. And I thought it was good for summer. So I'm thinking again, maybe just high teens or low 20s. But I don't have much experience selling it, so I'll have to look into it a little bit. And then we have another bandana. Um, yeah, cool print. My dog definitely doesn't have that one. And then another one, this one is like more of like, not necessarily satin, but I don't know. Normally I prefer like cotton, the 100% cotton bandanas, because they're a little bit more durable. I think this one's just like polyester. Yeah, 100% polyester. So I think it might get worn out pretty quickly, but it's like this poo bandana. So I thought it was super cute. Didn't want to pass it up. So yeah, $1 for each of them. And then this is something I got to take to Buffalo Exchange. I kind of had it on my mind just because like I said, I think I'm going to be making a trip within the next week. So I won't be hanging on to stuff very long. This is like a sheer corset top. Um, I don't know if you can tell. It's pretty sheer, but it has like flowers on it. And I think this is, you know, they would, they always buy stuff like that. So I think, you know, they'll decide to buy that for me. 
And then next, this is a pretty little thing, dress size six. It has mesh sleeves and some sequin detailing all over it. Definitely will list this on curtsy. And not expecting a lot, because Pretty Little Thing is super fast fashion. Maybe just, definitely probably just in the, in the, somewhere in the teens for them. I'll probably list it at like $16 or something. And then last but not least, this is a mesh bodysuit from Urban Outfitters. It's the Out From Under line. And it has like rhinestones all over it in its bodysuit. And I thought it was cute. And since it is mesh, it is very lightweight. So uh, it'll be very cheap for the buyer for shipping. So yeah, that's everything. That's my haul. Hopefully you enjoyed. And if you did, you can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching.